Hello everybody, I am Lycan Warrior and welcome to the channel. Today we are going to be talking about Red Dead Redemption 2, so stick around. Wake him up a little! So the third trailer dropped for Red Dead Redemption 2 a few days ago and it blew me away. We also got a whole heap of new information and some beautiful screenshots to go along with it. So it's been revealed that the story is going to be based around Dutch Vanderlyn's gang and you as the main character will be playing Arthur Morgan, Dutch's right hand man. We see the gang in action a lot in all the trailers that we've seen and they seem pretty bad ass to me. So let's get into some more details about the game and what we can expect for when we play it. So starting off, Rockstar have made huge improvements to their AI and how the NPCs react in the world, not only to the player but the environment itself. NPCs will now react to you in many many different ways and it all depends on how you look, how you act and what you've done. So an example of this is if you have your gun out on the street via if you don't have your gun out on the street and it's holstered, NPCs will walk the other way or cross the street or avoid you if you do have your gun out. Some may even try and be hostile towards you. This also extends to Dutch's outlaw gang. They're located somewhere on the map in a camp and each character within that gang has their own personality and you can see that through the way they act. So what's also interesting is as right hand man to Dutch you also have small roles within the gang such as feeding them and if you don't do this then characters will make small rem remarks towards you about I don't know, possibly being lazy or something negative towards you because you didn't feed them for example. So what's also interesting is Rockstar are trying to build a bond between you and your mount, your horse. Now I believe that you break in your horse as part of the story and then you kind of build up a relationship and as your bond with your mount gets stronger so does the horse itself. So for example, so if you enter combat for example whether you're riding your horse or you get off your horse it may run away or it might kick you off and then run away. So the stronger the bond you have with it the more stress that the horse can deal with which is going to make uh, situations really really interesting. The other interesting thing is if your horse dies then it's dead for good so if you don't have a healing equipment or surgical tools whatever they add uh, in the game then you lose it for good and you lose all your progress and you have to start again. So those were some of the main features uh, let's talk about some of the smaller details as well. So the horse is also your backpack so for example you have to carry larger animals on the back of it, humans that are you know, your bounty hunting whether they're dead or alive as well as your rifles and any other, any other equipment that you can't carry on yourself. This being with the strength of the bond is going to be really important to winning fights and in combat play. Because if your horse runs off with your, your rifle and all you've got is your pistol and you, you run out of ammo or something, then you're kind of fucked. So it is going to really change the gameplay and it's kind of an exciting feature. So melee combat is also coming back and it's coming back more detailed hopefully. GTA 5 it was very very simplified, you know you just felt a punch, a kick and a dodge. Let's hope that in Red Dead Redemption that is it's a lot more detailed especially since it looks like there's going to be like a bare knuckle boxing kind of game mode, like a smaller mini game where you can fight NPCs. Hopefully it's going to be a lot more fun to play instead of just a simple dodge, kick, punch. So the last thing uh, that I found quite funny is if your hat gets shot off then you don't just get it again, you have to pick it up or you have to go back to the place and then pick it up or buy a new one which is something that I, is really funny to me and is really good since it's, you know, it adds a lot more detail to the game. So from the little information that we already have from the game it is starting to look really really impressive. All three trailers have blown me away, they look amazing, the game looks fucking beautiful. I am super excited for it, the story looks really incredible, the gameplay looks so interesting and revolutionary to the gaming industry, so I am just really excited for this game. So if you enjoy please subscribe, like and comment, tell me what you thought, tell me if you want to do more of these, tell me anything. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you later.